Chelsea, I have been drinking the smoothies every day and I'm still not getting the results that I'm looking for. And then I ask, well, what are you putting in the smoothie? And when I find out what people are actually putting in smoothies, there is no wonder that they're not getting the results that they're looking for. So in this video, I'm going to show you a smoothie recipe, but I'm going to explain why I put the things in the smoothies the way I put them in the smoothie <laughs> and why this is going to produce good results for you. So let's talk about what we're going to put in this smoothie. For this smoothie, we're going to use a lot of dark leafy greens. I'm choosing baby spinach this time, but you can use whatever dark leafy green you want or whatever you have on hand. The reason for the dark leafy greens is that you want to get the alkalinity and the chlorophyll from the greens. And when you put them in the blender, it's going to break down the cell walls so that you can get the nutrients into your system when you drink the smoothie. So my daily recommendation of greens is a pound of greens a day. And I know that might seem like a lot, but when you blend it up in a smoothie, you can drink it instead of chew it. I use a kitchen scale in order to measure the greens. I will put a link down in the description box below this video with the scale that I use. Next, we're going to add some lemons. This is a Meyer lemon that I have cut the skin off of. I recommend you cutting the skin off because it will make the smoothie more bitter. But the thing that the lemon does is it helps you to absorb the iron and the nutrients that are in the greens. But the other thing it does is it cuts down on the bitterness of the greens that you put in the smoothie. The next thing we're going to add is ginger, lemongrass, and turmeric. Now, lemongrass is optional. Not everybody can find lemongrass, but I put ginger and turmeric in the smoothie because they are anti-inflammatory. So that means that it pulls the inflammation out of your body. If you're struggling with pain, it's going to help cut down the pain in your body. And if you can find lemongrass, it will be great. I find it at my local Whole Foods market. It helps with anxiety, lowering cholesterol, preventing infections. It helps with oral health. It helps with relieving pain and it helps building the red blood cells. So if you are anemic, lemongrass is going to help with that. And also it helps with bloating. A lot of you write in talking about the bloating that you're experiencing and lemongrass can help with that. And if you can't find it fresh, you can also buy lemongrass tea. I will put a link down in the description box for lemongrass tea as well. So the exact recipe for this smoothie will be down in the description box as well. Next is the simple ingredients you can find at your local grocery store and that's just bananas. And these were two fresh mangoes that I cut up and I put in the freezer because I didn't want them to go bad. But you can use frozen mangoes, fresh mangoes, whatever you have on hand. You can use more or less fruit. It just depends on your taste. You may need more to cover the taste of the greens or less. Maybe you like more savory smoothies. Next, I like adding aloe vera juice and water. I added one cup of each that helps with healing the gut. Then I added three deglet dates. They're very small and I add them to take the edge off of the turmeric and the ginger. Although you will taste the turmeric and ginger in this smoothie, you can add another date or two, but you don't want to use too many dates. Next is chia seeds to get your omega-3s in, into your diet. Chia seeds are going to help with your gut, help with your hair, help with your skin. It, there are so many benefits to chia seeds. I need to do a video on what are the benefits of the chia seed for reproductive health. Maybe I'll do that. If you want to see that kind of video, why don't you comment below and let me know. Now, if you're going to be making smoothies, my suggestion is that you invest in a high speed blender. I will put a link to several high speed blenders that I think are good down in the description box below. 
Um, the reason I recommend a high speed blender is because when I was buying the cheaper blenders, I was going through them too much. So after I had spent all the money over the years on the cheap blenders, I could have already bought a high speed blender, but everybody has their own budget. So I just wanted to just throw that in there. If you're going to be living this lifestyle, this healthy lifestyle, you need a good blender and I will put probably three options down in the description box for you to choose from and Vitamix is not the only one that you um, have to use as a high-speed blender there are other brands out there that are very good for uh, this healing journey so I just wanted to share that with you but I'm adding everything to my blender and I'm gonna blend it up until it is smooth and then I'm going to add it to my um, jar. I started using these uh, cups called Owala. I think that's how you pronounce it. O-W-A-L-A. -A. And I didn't get any video footage of it. But you know what? I will stick a picture in right here so you can see it. And it has helped me to get these smoothies down and my juices down um, so that it stays cold as I sip it throughout the day so I'll share it with you and there is my green smoothie nice and smooth it's made about 44 ounces and I like this smoothie it's a bit savory but yet sweet and it's very hydrating and it's very it has is giving me a lot of energy as well but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it with a friend and don't forget to subscribe until next time take care lots of love